When I wake up in the morning and I'm in the morning and then I'm gonna lift some weights. Then I go to the store and get something to eat. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna beast her cheeks. It's alright, cause it's Baba Tuesday. Yeah. Yo, there is nothing. I fucking repeat. There is nothing like driving down the street, listening to a hog and oh. This is what life is all about. This is what life is all about. Good morning, everybody. I am your host, Baba Tuesday. Um, it is Wednesday, the 23rd of March, 2016. March 2016 has been pretty good. I've, I've got a lot of done. I've got um, a lot going on. Uh, before I get started uh, with my uh, my message, with, before I get started uh, with my message for today, uh, I want to give thanks to my creator, <laughs> the innovator, <laughs> for waking me up today because <laughs> I didn't have to wake up today, but I am up. So thank you. I appreciate it. the good times, the bad times, everything all of the memories that uh that that i can remember that brings me the good times thank you thank you thank you <sighs> speaking of like whenever i get a lot of money i mean i hate to i somebody said this phrase more money than god no listen whenever i make a lot of money I am not going to, I might buy some stuff that I probably don't need, but I'm not going to splurge, baby. I want to build memories and, and I want to, I want to help people out. You know what I mean? I got some, um, I got some big ideas. Uh, one of them, my startup one, all I need is a million dollars and I'm helping out a whole, I'm helping out a whole damn town. I can't wait to do that. Um, uh. I don't know if this is fake or not, but this morning when I woke up on Facebook before I went to the gym, I did go to the gym this morning. We I did cardio and abs. I switched it up. I did uh, 20 minutes on the Stairmaster, and then I did obliques, jump ropes, and then I did more obliques and weighted crunches, obliques, jump rope. I did a whole circuit of that probably like a 20 minute circuit now probably like 15 minutes and then I got back onto the uh, Stairmaster for another 15 minutes and uh, that was it man uh, my sh the shake I had today I'm uh, I'm boosting up all my calories I'm not even actually going by if it fits my macros I need to sw I need to shock my body this is more like I'm just gonna overeat on most of the stuff that uh, I usually eat so I'm gonna have four cups of rice uh, today, um, same amount of protein, um, and, uh, and of course my regular breakfast, two egg rolls, or maybe a calzone, I don't know, um, but my shake today was, uh, two scoops of, uh, protein, two scoops of peanut butter, uh, some glutamine, and some flax seeds. It was off the but anyways, I woke up today on my social media. I saw this thing. Uh, I don't know. I think it's fake. I don't know. But, but Cat Williams punched some kid in the face. I was just like, shit. Wow. But anyways, I was just like, man, this is... Alright. Hey, kids need to settle down, I guess. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on. I guess it's going to be the big news. Or something for today. I gotta get gas as well. The AC isn't on. I got the sunroof down. Windows cracked in the back. All right. So, um, let's talk about. Hold on. What the? Yeah. Hold on. Why? Why is that? Why is this moving? Oh, shit! You hear that 
guitar riff? Oh, fuck. This is the type of shit like you. Sing me an angel. Yo, I listen. Ferrari, right? I'm in a Ferrari. I bought me a, I bought me with like the, the 1989 Ferrari Tessarossa with the scrapes on the side, right? Everything's custom on the inside though. And I'm just, I'm just, bla I'm blaring this right now. I got my blue blackers on. Just watch. If you don't believe me, just watch. And I'm just like shifting. Then I got this, I got this, let's say, I got this light skin. No. I'm gonna, no. What kind of chick would be right be, or right beside me? I don't know, but she's gonna have to have that 1980s butt, like the teardrop. I don't care what race, what race she is, but she has to have that teardrop. You know what I mean? Um, just driving right next to me. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, my bad. Okay. Um. So check it out. Uh, let's talk about principle. Let's. What are, what are some of the characteristics, principles, or whatnot for being successful? Right. Listen. To be successful, like I don't see myself working for somebody else and doing what I have to do or what I need to do to help myself and help improve the world. Right. You know. Um, at least in my own aspect, because I know that I'm doing a lot of shit that people are gonna be like, "You ain't helping shit." You eating animals, nigga. You eating animals. That's fucking wrong. But listen, damn, I'm not. No, I'm. I'm no saint. I just masturbated into a sock this morning. All right. So cool. Come the fuck down. I'm trying my best. Damn vegans. No, I'm just playing. I love vegans. Um. Walk with you all night. Woo. Dancing to me. All right. First step that you have to do is you have to do what you love. Right? Do what you love and or do what you are passionate about and or do what you're skilled at. And hopefully what you love, what hopefully the talent that you have is something that you're passionate about and something that you love, right? Do those things first and foremost and forget what everybody says. Oh, you're not going to make money, blah, blah, blah. Listen, they are probably working a nine to five. They probably haven't even started anything on their own. They're probably helping other people make money, right? And it should, remember, it shouldn't be about uh, like about making that money. It's about you being happy. And if you are happy what you're doing and you do it well, money will come and you probably won't even worry about it. Right? You're looking at bank kind of like, damn, shit. But vacation time, I guess. Right? So do what you love to do. Right? Second, I would say, take action. You probably have to go at it 110% without anybody checking for you. Right? It's very rare that you'll find people helping you get where you're going in the beginning. They actually have to see it. You have to, has to, it has to be something tangible that they can touch, see, smell, depending on what you do, taste, right? So go at it 100%. It should be on your mind 24-7. Granted, if you have to work a 95 between what you have to do, you take care of business. You got to pay them bills, pay them bills, right? Um, if you're out there in the streets chasing after the honey dips, you can't be chasing after the, you can't be chasing after the honey dips, right? If you are, I mean, if you can chase after the honey dips and still do what you do, then good for you. But I've seen a lot of good comrades fall victim of chasing after the honey dips right all right um three uh 
three, I would say think, think bigger than what you are currently, right? You want to, you want to, and this kind of segues into number four. You want to think, like I, I, I talk to people now because I like I don't care what people think. I talk to people now, and I'm talking about millions of dollars and like what I can do and how I can do it to help out. And people get scared of that shit, right? Think big, bigger. Think, think those scary thoughts where. Like you even kind of get scared and be like, oh shit, hold up, like you know, think Kevin Hart big, think like like Michael Jackson big, like like Michael Jordan big, think big, right? All right, and the fourth, I would say, just use your imagination to envision yourself where you need to be and where you're supposed to be and this kind of I tell people when they're working out and they're trying to lose weight or make them gains like yo like just envision oh hey shit this is like I will freaking come here so where my friend So, so use your imagination, envision yourself, how you're going to look, how you're going to be, where you're, well, how you're going to get there. Just imagine your future self. Do that and you will be successful. And watch out for them damn snakes and people taking advantage. Right? So I will be right back. I got to go to Walmart and get all this food and shit. All right. Catch you guys later in a sec. Hey, yo, um, yo, 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 I'm back. Hey, um, one of the founders of Tribe Called Quest, uh, Fife passed away i don't know if it was today or last night but um shout out to him man good lyrics um helped mold my childhood and whenever i think of like like real hip-hop i like i grew up with like of course it was a tribe called quest which brett um let's see far side krs1 epmd Rock Eric B and Rock Kim, um, of course. Then, like Busta Rhymes, Too Short, um, things like that. But um, man, like I didn't know the dude, but I mean, he lives on with his lyrics. So, shout out to him and condolences to his family and everything like that. Uh, all right, uh, let's see. Yo, I don't know what's going on, right? But uh, I, I think my my mom and my grandma cursed me because they want me to have children, right? And I'm just like, no, nah, hold up, hold up. But no matter, like, I'm real good with kids, man. And like, no matter where I go, like, if there's like little kids or whatnot, they'll just stop, look at me, and like, like smile and everything. And then the mothers be like, oh, you must be real good with kids. Listen, no. Like, my parents, want, they did some kind of voodoo stuff, and they want me to have some kind of child. And I'm not going to try to find no honey dip to have a child with. So, mom, grandma, stop that shit. Shit's not going to happen. Hopefully not. But if it does, it does. And I'm trapped forever. She just better be cool. Because my plan is to have a surrogate mother. I don't, I, I don't be trusting these chicks, man. No, 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 no. They be fickled in a mug. <sighs> Speaking of being fickled in a mug, I am not a chauvinistic pig or whatnot. 
But if you have a fat butt, I am going to look. I listen. I appreciate the finer things that the God has made me, has made in this uh, on this earth, right? So I, I'm just looking at, at, at it as appreciation. However, if I know that she is like a like if she's like a wife or if it's in close quarters and I'm in a business atmosphere and it's somebody's wife or girlfriend, I ain't gonna look at her or at least try not to, right? I'm not gonna go out of my way to look at that fat ass. No. Just out of respect. However, moreover, I like to use that word, moreover, if we in these streets, if I'm in the store, if I'm at the gas station and you pull up and pull out this fat ass, I'm gonna look. Especially when I know it's real. And hey, man, I'm a heterosexual male and I love the booty. I love glutes. <sighs> um, let's see what else, man. You know, that's about it, you know. Um, let's see what's on the radio. Hold up. I gotta get that gas. I gotta get that gas. I got a long day ahead of me. Yo, I didn't know she was about 30 something years old. Did not know that shit. I got a question. Like, you know how people are trying to expose like the Illuminati and people that are in the Illuminati and everything like that? You know, like people like on YouTube and everything. I like looking at that. I love. I actually like, that's my guilty pleasure. Actually, I'm not guilt, guilty about it. I love it. I love watching, listening, and watching like conspiracy stuff, Black Hollywood, Illuminati. The way you have to get in, and you got to get, you got to get your shit packed in. You got to have you know, gay sex and shit. Like, shit is just so bizarre. I'm just like, yo, is this shit for real, son? Shit. Whatever the case is. Okay. <laughs> All right, so whatever the case is, yo, let's say somebody does come out or and or the Illuminati says, okay, this is what we are, this is what we do. What then? What is the end point after the, if somebody comes out? What What's gonna happen next? Because I think that people are so much a sheep and they actually glorify the Illuminati that it, does, it won't even matter. And I'm just like, yo, like if, uh, like, is the Illuminati really the secret society, or is there even something more secret than that? You know? That's the shit that people don't really talk about. That's what I really want to know. But is there an end game of exposing these people, or are you just trying to make, are you making money off of YouTube talking about people? That's the way I see it. I see it as a business. You know? It's just like, same way I feel about some of these pastors out here with these churches, they're just making money off of people. And at the end of the day, it's a damn business. And that's my point of view. And if you don't like it, I don't care. Yo. I'm trying to be cool, but I make that highway. That one of this, and I did this, and I don't in a so anyways guys, check this out. Stay focused on your goals. Make sure your goals are real big and you try to accomplish it. Set your goals, stay focused, be passionate about what you're doing. If you have to work jobs in between, it's okay. As long as you take a step towards your goals. Don't get frustrated. And remember this, if you have a power with a, like I wouldn't say quite necessarily say authority, have, have problems with authority. But just think about this. People are, some people need titles to feel important. Like Bob, supervisor or whatnot, right? If you don't really fuck with that and you you know you are your own person, but then you have to, you, you feel kind of like, like you have to like stand up and everything like that. 
and um, kind of like internally just have a problem with somebody being over you and everything like that, especially when you have something going on, remember this. No one can make you do anything. No one can make you do anything. You can make yourself do something. Someone can tell you to do something and then you can decide to do it or not, right? It's kind of crazy, it's a wordplay. Yo! Fucking people, man. What the fuck is your problem? Anyways, yo, you decide what you can do. If somebody tells you to do something, you decide to do it. And I don't even like, if I'm in a position where I have a supervisor or a boss, I don't even call him that. I just do, uh, like, I just don't. I don't call him, hey, my boss, I'm gonna go get my boss, I'm gonna go get my supervisor, nah. I don't do that shit. Cause words carry weight. And even though I know, even though the word boss and supervisor don't carry weight with me, I just don't say it, I just don't recognize it. And if somebody tells me to do, do something bullshit, hey, it's up to me to do it or not. And I had to check a couple of people saying like, yo, I decide, actually, I really decide. Like, it's cool. You can feel like you are in control, but you're not in control of me. You can tell me to do whatever you want but it's my decision to do it or not. So, if you have a problem with that, just keep that in mind and do that shit. But anyways, man, learn as much as you can, become your own guru, because nobody knows your body better than you do. I'm your host, Bye Bye Tuesday, and I'm out this mug, because I'm about to listen to some 80s music and rock out with my...